Welcome back. The purpose of this video is to understand how to use unusual whales to get high quality, good information that allows you to gauge the overall markets and thus perform better in your trading. My name is Peter Tarr. For those of you who don't know, on Twitter, it's Profits Taken. Also on this channel, it's Real Peter Tarr. And I was a professional broker as of 2005. I was a professional stock trader and a licensed options and derivatives specialist, excuse me, derivative specialist, or just options specialist. I am now a private equity manager and a wealth advisor. So we're going to jump right into it and take a look here. We're on the main page of unusual oils. I thought this is just the best place to start. And most people are either here or you might just be in, in the flow. That's the other most popular place. So let's say that you start in the flow. How do we get a better idea of the overall markets and why is that important? We'll dig into all of that. So the first place you're going to go and have you take a look here. This is one of the lesser known features. It's a great feature. It's called market overview. So market overview, right? The first thing that you're going to see, and we're going to talk about the importance and how you incorporate this with your trading, but let's just go through the individual items and then dig in a little bit further. So the first thing that you're going to see here is you're going to see some charts on the SPY and the QQQ that gives you a good indication of what's going on in the markets, of course, representative of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ respectively. The charting is just a snapshot here, but there is a more in-depth feature for charting on unusual whales. For those of you who are interested, I will post up here. There's a link to the other video that I recorded that goes in more depth if you want to know how to use the charting. And you can see there is a live charting feature right over here. So then we're going to see the sector flow, and this is really helpful, right? So it's not exhaustive. There are a lot of different areas that you can dig into. You can look at different ETFs to get a better gauge on what security you're trying to trade that gives you more of a granular look, but this is a really good overview. We have a lot of the sectors listed here, and this is extremely helpful for helping you gauge and understand the respective sector strength on a security that you might be trading or an option that you might be trading. Okay, so latest news. I'm really gonna dig into this. And this is where Unusual Whales deserves a lot of credit for a variety of reasons. I will get back to that, but that is pretty straightforward. Um, in another minute or two, we're really gonna dig in here. And, and like I say, this is very important, but it's pretty straightforward here. It shows you all the major news that is emerging. And of course, we have earnings. So what is why is this important? Well, you can see that we have some earnings reports that are pre-market, announced in the morning, and some are after hours, or as we say, after the bell. After the bell is just the nomenclature used on the street or used in professional circles. It just means after the closing bell or before the bell, right? So pre-market, after hours. And what this does is this shows you some of the companies that are reporting. Of course, you know the market cap, the current price, the percentage change, implied volatility, and the street EPS. What is the street EPS? That's the street earnings per share. Typically, when you talk about the street EPS, you're talking about what the Wall Street or street earnings per share projection is. So this is really helpful for those of you who are looking at earnings plays. Now, one thing I'm going to note to you, if you haven't seen it already, take this from someone who has nearly 20 years of professional experience, who is a private equity manager, who has, you know, I've been around the block, so to speak, and I'm very focused on the markets. One thing I can say is it's extremely risky to trade earnings. And I try to caution people because I think it's one of the most attractive things for traders. Uh, and this is an extremely helpful tool because you can gauge which earnings are being reported for those of you who like to do that and like to trade. What I would suggest is watch the video I'm going to link to. It's in the top right. And I give a breakdown on how to trade earnings and get a lot of that upside without all of the heavy risk. But again, this is very helpful. It consolidates this data for you rather than you checking around. It becomes very difficult to do on brokers. You can have a watch list, top five winners, losers. Pretty straightforward there as well. Now let's get back to latest news. So with unusual whales, I think uh, I think that unusual whales has one of the more underrated Twitter accounts uh, in the space, uh, and that's coming from someone who's been a professional since 2005. I, I made my first trade in 1999, and yeah, it was a horrible trade. <laughs> I lost <laughs> lost a lot of money, but I mean, I was a teenager. I think I even got my parents to help me open up the brokerage account at the time. Um, but Unusual Whales does a fantastic job with their news. And it's not just this latest news here that is helpful. You can see that this is all substantive, right? I'm going to go somewhere else here. I'm going to go to market events, and then we'll pivot back to news. And this is all going to help you with your trading because I always say, don't take trades in a silo. That's for people who, who don't know what they're talking about or just rolling the dice. 
you hear something positive, you hear something negative, but you don't really understand it. Some random person gives you a tip, but you don't understand why. You see something happen and you try to think that you see a pattern on a chart. Guys, go deeper than that. Take your money more seriously. I guarantee you worked hard for your money, right? So take it seriously when you're trading and you're investing it. Just as hard as you worked, take it that serious, right? So don't give your money away with by making silly trades and you have to incorporate multi, incorporate multiple points of data. Now news is a data point here and I'm going to go over to market events just to show you. I think this is really helpful cuz uh, a lot of brokerages have a lot of this data, the market overview, market events, but it's not easily accessible, it's not user friendly, right? So this is really helpful. It shows you when there's halts. Like you can see Twitter got halted today. There's talk about Elon Musk going forward with his acquisition at 54.20 per share. Uh, some people are saying that he's agreed, he's coming forward. It's spreading quickly, so Twitter's been halted because there's been extreme volatility on the stock just shooting up. You know, the price has, uh, has gapped significantly. And we see other halts, right? So trading halts and IPOs, and that's very important when you see heavy volatility. It's all consolidated in this one area. Now, getting back to the market overview, what I really appreciate about Unusual Whales here is the curation of their data feed. I kid you not, with some brokers, you can get a fantastic read on data. Now, the broker of choice that I use is IBKR, that's Interactive Brokers. And I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. Phenomenal ability to curate news. But in general, not everybody has access to a good, strong broker. And I also use other paid subscription services for news. If you're just starting out, you know, you don't have 101 different systems going in different windows and trying to curate everything and get it specialized. Like I said, and not everybody has IBKR where it's easy to set up. Unusual Whales does a really good job of keeping things relevant. I like that on their Twitter feed. You know, there's some things are provocative. It's uh, it engages many people in discussion. Some things are just really good news, but they've done a good job here. So why wouldn't we expect this from a normal broker? Well, a lot of them have just a heap load of silly information that's irrelevant and it's frustrating when traders are trying to get the news let me give you an example here in february i posted uh i took a look at thinkorswim and i don't use thinkorswim uh for anything other than charting i think they have good charting features but you know like i said there's also good charting here on unusual whales so watch my video on that and this is a real thing for SPY, for the SPY, the S&P 500 news, Thinkorswim reported that koalas are now listed as an endangered species in Australia. And I'm actually going to put the screenshot up here. And I was just talking about how they list a lot of irrelevant news and it, it creates noise, right? When you start talking about Kim Kardashian had her whatever fourth marriage today or fifth or whatever marriage she's on, or you start naming things that are irrelevant, maybe important to some people, who are interested in that, they have nothing to do with the markets and it drives me crazy. So here's my screenshot. And I was just using that example. So I thought I'd take a look that day. And I was looking at the news feed for SPY and I'm seeing Australia has listed koalas as an endangered species. I like koalas, right? I use a koala emoji as a symbol of bearishness. I know that they're marsupials, but it's so irrelevant. And what happens is a lot of these brokers don't curate beyond the stream that they get from major news outlets. So a lot of noise floods into the channel. And if you're trying to keep an eye on things and get a better gauge on the market, you're only as good as the data inputs that you have. So that's why I like this market overview, particularly if you're just newer and you're not trying to go in too much depth or you don't have a brokerage account set up, you're trying to keep it simple, this is clean. You've got the SPY chart, the QQQ, sector flow, latest relevant news, it's curated. I don't see anything here about uh, any celebrities or animal issues that have nothing to do with the spy then you can see who's earning who's not and of course pair this with market events as well because i think that that deserves to be in here you could just jump over like i said it's really quick and easy and as you know unusual whales loads really quickly so how you help your trading is to get a better more comprehensive view of what's going on you know if you have news coming in that's really negative but maybe you had a bullish trade setup that will give you pause because if you want to understand the way a professional trader thinks, that the way that institutions think, it's based on multiple points of analysis. They never just say, oh, there were three bullish option flow transactions, or, oh, here's a bear flag. You know, that's, that's not a thing. That's more of a Twitter 
kind of scammer thing where you could find any pattern you want. Or they don't just say, hey, I heard this company is going to do well. There's a lot of evaluation in there and it goes pretty in depth. But at the very least, as a trader who's maybe a beginner or intermediate, what I think you can do is maybe you can't go in as deep and looking at the fundamentals and looking at cash discounted flow, uh, looking at enterprise value, projecting earnings forward, all that sort of thing. But you can at least look at different points of data and say, okay, is there any significant news? Is there anything in contrast to what I'm seeing here? How is the sector doing? Okay, what lines up? Maybe I'll go to an, the market events. Oh, this was halted earlier. That explains the heavy volatility I saw. Maybe I should dig in and try to understand why the stock was halted, right? So I can get a better gauge of what's going on. Typically, a stock doesn't halt for no reason, particularly a well-known large cap stock. But with Twitter, it's an acquisition news or rumor at the very least, and that's very serious because it's well above where the stock is trading right now, the acquisition price that is. This signifies a change in ownership and all sorts of things. And you have Elon Musk talking about taking the company public. So things don't halt for no reason. The point is, aggregate the data, and I think that the market overview paired with market events, you know, pair the two together. I know one's at the top and one's at the bottom here, but that might make it even easier for you. If you pair the two together, I think it gives you more of a comprehensive view than just looking at a little bit of data in a silo. And that's a good step off point for going forward. So hopefully this video helps you navigate and understand where to go, what these different elements are, how to pair these two together and why you should pair them together for your trade, and then how to use that and aggregate that data so that you have multiple points of analysis. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you want to learn from me directly, it's profitstaken.com. As I said, if you're interested in signing up to Unusual Whales, I will have that information below. And I'll also have the information for interactive brokers. It's IBCare listed below. For those of you who are interested, I think it's at least worth a look. Uh, and again, rush nothing, be comfortable, collect data, make the right decisions, take your money seriously. All right, guys, till next time.